God, I just want to cry. <laughs>Kings, queens, geeks, and nerds, welcome. Uh, I'm Powder Milk, and welcome to another fan fiction. And today we'll be doing the tree screaming, and it's also read by one of my favorite readers, the Lost Narrator, which I will leave in the link in the description, so you can check out her work her yourself. And I'll be uh, reacting to this. I've never read this good dark, or or seen this video, so. I'm not going to be doing ones I've seen before, so just so you guys know. If you, and uh, here we go. Uh, June 26. Dear Diary, hello. Today, sweet at school, and I went to the library to try and get cutie marks and reading, but then I accidentally found Spock's diary. And, well, I never realized he felt that way about Rarity, but it gave me this great idea to start a diary on my own. I may not get a cutie mark for journalism, but maybe I can get one for journaling. June 27th. Dear Diary, I told Scooter Lou about my idea, but she said diaries were lame. I still think it's a good idea, though. We were going to try to be cutie mark crusader deep sea divers today, but we don't live anywhere near the sea, so we have to use the lake. We borrowed some gear from Pinkie Pie, but it was really big and heavy, so we ended up too exhausted from carrying it to swim. So we stashed it nearby, and we're going to try again tomorrow. June 28th. Dear Diary, today the crusaders and I tried diving again. The stuff was where we left it. It took a while to get it all off. So far we're getting we diary entries. We got to swim with the turtles, and there were those pretty fish all around us. It was amazing. Still no cutie mark, though. Anyway, since I live closest to the lake, the girls got to come over for dinner. Granny Smith even baked one of her world-famous apple pies. After the girls went home... Obviously, this is post-cutie mark. I noticed that Renona was acting really weird. She had her ears back like she was afraid of something, and she kept barking at nothing. I, I mean, prior to Pewdie Mark. I wonder what was wrong. June 30th. Dear Diary, sorry for not writing. I've just been busy. Winona went missing, and we spent all of yesterday looking for her, but we never found her. Granny said she's probably just ran off and that she'll be back the next day, but... It's been a day and she's still gone. It just doesn't like Winona to run off. I miss her. July 1st. Dear Dolly, today I'm writing you from the Crusader Clubhouse. We were going to form you in the league. Form a Make our plans for the day when suddenly this huge storm came out of nowhere. With thunder and lightning and everything. If sis were here, she'd probably say it was raining cats and dogs. Winona still hasn't come back yet. But anyway, we didn't want to go out in the rain, so we decided to stay here and wait it out. But I was bored, so I decided to write to you. Scoots and Sweetabelle are playing a game of goldfish, and I'll get to play the winner. Dear Apple Bloom Diary, Hello. This is Sweetie Belle. Apple Bloom said I could write something in her diary to pass the time. It was surprising. I mean, I know I would never let any pony see my diary, but she said that she hadn't really written anything secret or personal in here, so I guess it's okay. Scootaloo beat me at Go Fish, but I think she was cheating. She kept getting just the right card whenever she went fishing. I only ended up with one set in the end. It looks like Apple Bloom isn't doing much better. Hey, Scootaloo keeps scratching her wings before she fishes. I bet she has extra cards hidden under there. Dang. Dear Dolly, sorry to bother you, Dan. The storm still hasn't stopped. Sweetie and Scoops are arguing about something. Did, did something just move out there? 
July 2nd. Dear Dally, so eventually the storm passed, but it had got light, so we just ended up going home afterwards. Still no sign of Winona. Anyway, I went back to the clubhouse today. Luckily, it was still mostly intact, so I didn't have to fix it up too much. But I kept thinking I saw things moving out of the corner of my eye, and it kept felt like I was being watched. But no pony was there. Hey, maybe it was Winona. July 3rd. Dear Dad, I told Applejack about my theory, and we went back to the clubhouse, but... We didn't find anything. I suggested that she might be in the forest, but Sis refused to go in to look for her. And she told me if I so much as put one hoof in the forest, then she would crown me for a whole week. I'll show her! July. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Dear Dolly, I found Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle and persuading them to help me search. It took a bit of effort to get Sweetie to come, but in the end we managed to convince her. We're about to set up. Wish us luck. Oh, Alexia, help me. I've got a way. I'm the only one left, and the others are dead. I'm hiding in a cave I found. Sweet Celestia, the trees, the trees are alive. They're alive! We were just walking down the path, and I saw something move. So we went off the path to try and find it. It led us further and further away from the trail, and we came to a clearing in the woods. And then there was this screech, and a branch swooped down, and... 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 <coughs> it impaled itself into Sweetie, and she was bleeding. We tried to run, but there were vines covered in thorns, and they wrapped around our legs, and the thorns dug into us, and the trees, I don't know how to describe it, they didn't walk, it was like they were sliding, and the clearing just kept getting smaller and smaller, I managed to pull my legs out from the vines, but the vines were around Scoot's neck and they were choking her and, and I heard her bones being crushed so I ran away through a gap in the trees they tried to get me but they only managed to get my leg it's bleeding really bad there's a huge chunk of it missing <laughs> oh. no no I can hear them! I can hear them coming! They're coming! Celestia, so Mona, anyone, please, please help me! The trees, they're screaming! <laughs> Applejack? Yes, toi. I found this book outside the Everfree Forest. It seems to be Apple Bloom's diary. My sister kept a diary? Does it... Does it say what happened to her? Y yes Oh my god! God, I just want to cry. Oh my god. That makes me want to cry. Oh. I actually did shed a few tears there. Oh my god, that was horrifying. I have to say, that was really well read. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even expect that. Holy shit. Oh, God, I really got shivers on me. Oh. Woo! Oh, boy. Again, another great work lost. Oh, God. I, g I give you my thank you and your voice actors, by the way. Uh, man, oh, God, my heart's pounding.
Oh. Oh God, it makes me really want to cry though. Sweetie, Mac, uh, Sweetie, Sweetie Belle, Boodaloo, and Apple Bloom. Mother of God. I don't I don't think I heard your voice once lost in this entire thing. I think I think you might have did Apple Jack's voice, but I don't think I heard your voice. But it was all done in diary. I thought that's well written. Whoever wrote um says reluctant brohu. That was really well written. I give you my credit. I, I give you I give you that is the oh I know. Oh. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and please leave a like and like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> I can't. I'm still still shaking. Please like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment saying your view on this. Also, um, if you. If you guys want to see more of these, just remember to tell me. You can always follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus if you use that at any of those. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye!